What up, folks? I'm UltraZill, and this is the Ultra Zill News Weekend Update. The only toy news, not for views, but for all of you. I'm a little under the weather, got a little bit of a cold. Um, so a little bit of a channel note for you guys. I do have three reviews already completely done. Well, completely recorded. So you will be seeing those the first three days of the week. I do have another one that I'm going to attempt to finish up today. And then I'm just going to relax a little bit, you know. So if I could get four done, hopefully that will take, uh, you know, give me a few days to relax and recover. And then, uh, you know, we could get back to it. But I don't know. I don't know why I needed to do a channel note. But there is just to let you know, you know, because I mentioned it. You know, I do have stuff recorded already. So that's a good thing. Uh, all right. So uh, on to this week. We got some uh, new Haya stuff. We got some not so new. Uh, well, actually, we got some not so new SH Monster Hearts. That's new again. And an upcoming thing that hasn't been officially officially announced. So we'll we'll take a look at that a little bit further into the video. And then uh, a lot of interesting things sprinkled throughout. I kind of mixed it up a little bit this week. Uh, so do stick around till the end if you want to see it all. So uh, without any further ado, let's get to it. And let's kick things off with the Haya and Muse, and they are doing a Godzilla 2000. Um, and you know what? I'm kind of on the fence about this. Not that I'm not going to get it, because I am going to get it. Uh, I just feel like there's something off about the proportions on uh, this figure. Like the body might be too small, or the arms are too small, and the head is too big. But one of those things is a little bit off. Like, haven't seen this movie a ton. Like, having figures of this design and multiple lines over the years. Yeah, there's something off about the design here. And I'm not exact. The proportions. The individual components. Like, the head looks awesome. The body looks really good. But when you put it together, I feel like, at least in these picks, and at least to me, something appears a little bit off you guys let me know how you feel about that down below but this figure did go up for pre-order this week so uh do get your pre-orders in in the sh monsarts a big news oh they are redoing their gamera uh 1996 gamera 2 and uh this is cool you know this is uh from the sendai scene you know i forget the exact decisive sendai battle i don't know what they're calling it but uh it is a repaint and this to me is one of the best sh monster arts figures it came in second for my best of uh in 2015 uh could have been first even it, i love this figure uh I'm probably not gonna get it again but i do love this figure now the bigger news that's not here yet that could possibly come out of this is you know what? We might be getting a Legion figure coming soon because, you know, precedent for it has already been set. Camera 3 came uh, redone and they gave us an Iris, which I still didn't get. Um, so, is a Legion coming? How much is that going to cost? And how big is that thing going to be? We'll uh, stay uh, tuned uh, for that news which i think will happen in another big bit of news ling jehoon is doing a gypsy avenger that's right they're skipping over to uh uprising to do avenger and you know no matter how you feel about the movie itself you gotta admit the uh gypsy avenger design is excellent uh so i'm very very happy uh to hear that they are uh doing uh this uh, figure we still got gypsy danger coming out this year so do stay tuned for that but if you happen to be going to uh wonder Fest shanghai uh there is an exclusive of their crimson typhoon uh available for sale there it is a darker color version i don't know if this one is going to be available anywhere else but do stay tuned. We'll bring that news if we have it. But if you're going, this is uh, something you might want to get because the original one is definitely one of the best of the year so far. In big fun news uh, for uh, me, uh, Mattel Creations finally unveiled their Voltron Little People set. It comes uh, with boxes of the individual lions that you can combine into Voltron. This is absolutely superb. I love this idea. And uh, yeah, I, I feel like I gotta, I gotta get it. 
As I've preached all week, go see Transformers 1. It is incredible. And on Transformers uh, Day, uh, we got the reveals of Sentinel, a prime in the studio series who looks absolutely awesome. Previously, uh, we uh, knew about the Alita 1 and Bumblebee, but they both look pretty, pretty good here as well. Uh, both are deluxe class figures, and I believe Sentinel Prime is a Voyager, although maybe he's... No, I think he's a Voyager. He could have been even a leader. He's huge in uh, the movie. But all these figures look pretty good, and they're all up for pre-order right now. Definitely go see the movie. Also on Transformers news, while the uh, picks aren't great, we have more on the Transformers Monster Hunter. It is going to be called Leoleus Prime, uh, and this could be really cool. A Rathlos into a uh, Prime. Hey, you know what? Why does Monster Hunter get this and not Godzilla? I don't get it. Funko Pop continues their uh, Jumbo Chan series with Ultraman. That's pretty cool. That's perfect. Uh, and it does look good, but these things are pretty expensive, like 250 bucks each. Yeah, not for me. The DST Mechagodzilla uh, bust went up for pre-order this week, and we got some official pics here, and uh, it looks gorgeous. I really like that base, so do check it out. The Four Horsemen Studios uh, continues their figure Obscura line with a Frankenstein a figure. This figure is pretty interesting uh, looking, sort of Bernie Wrightson-esque. Little bit looking like uh, Glenn Danzig, a little Frankie Danzig for you, but you do get to uh, dress him up in a bunch of different looks, which I think is very, very cool. And, you know, it comes with a bunch of extras. Um, so this is up for pre-order this weekend only on their website, so do check it out. As I alluded to at the top, there's another piece of SH Monster Arts news. They are doing a, a Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Magician. Funny that it's in the SH Monster Arts. I'm surprised that uh, these are magazine scans, so no official picks yet out. Uh, but stay tuned. We'll get them. We'll check it out. I don't think I'm getting this one at all. Like, I'll, you know, I'm in for, like, the more monstrous hero stuff, but not probably anything uh, like this. For those of you that would like to get the AMK Pro Optimus that you saw me review this week, there's actually a two-pack available with Optimus, like the minis. Uh, so that's something interesting if you are interested in getting both. Super 7 uh, is doing a sound wave in their new deluxe size uh, figures, uh, deluxe style figures. It comes in a VHS box, which is pretty cool, and it is exclusive to Amazon. NECA showed off some NYCC exclusives, including Kevin Eastman as a garbage man from a cutscene from the movie, as well as the Invisible Man in Glow in the Dark, and a Glow in the Dark, a female a trick or treater. So if you're interested in those, uh, do go to NYCC. Uh, also, uh, there's going to be a TMNT uh, Christmas set. Jada Toys unveiled their Street of Fighter Guile figure, went off a pre order this week. And uh, like all the rest, it looks absolutely awesome. I mean, they are doing such a good job uh, with this line, and I really need uh, to get more. And especially Guile, who was one of my favorite characters uh, to play on with. The Pokemon uh, Select continues the trainer series uh, with the Cerro Lidge. Uh, it is a Target exclusive, like all the rest of the trainer team series. Looks pretty cool, but I, I think I'm kind of done with this line, unless there's like one that really screams to me. Uh, to get. Moffex is doing an X-Man, uh, one of the more underrated characters to come out of uh, Age of Apocalypse. Or oh, was he overrated at the time? I, I forget, but I did like this uh, character uh, back in the day. In the Bandai Gashapon uh, series, uh, HG series, uh, we are uh, getting a uh, baby Godzilla as uh, well as a Godzilla 2000. Hey, how about that? Um, it doesn't look that good e here either, uh, but I feel like the portions are a little better. Also a Mothra and a Batra. So uh, an interesting lineup. I think that baby Godzilla is going to be highly, highly popular. So if you're looking to get it, do try to uh, get it as soon as uh, you possibly can. Hey, back to Haya because they are also uh, doing some Contra figures in uh, the 112 scale. Uh, and uh, they look really good. They look very, very nice, actually. Uh, so, hey, you know what? Put in your codes and come on, let's fight. 
In some cheaper knockoff uh, style news, uh, there is a pretty awesome looking, but definitely cheap looking, Optimus Prime, kind of an animated Optimus Prime uh, from what, Earthspark, I, I think? Um, or the, no, the series before that. Um, it looks, okay, Cyberverse? Was it Cyberverse? Either way, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty big, so uh, color me interested. Let's end things off uh, with Mono, because I'm getting kind of stuffy. Um, with a exclusive, Godzilla Store exclusive, Urban Aztec green version uh really nice looking uh so uh, do check out godzilla.com for that and also as a mondo uh exclusive they are doing a set of ah real uh, monster figures from nickelodeon i know a lot of folks love these uh and they do look cute so definitely want the feature here and there you go guys that's the ultra z news hope you dug it let me know your thoughts down below on any of these things and if you're new to the channel why don't you go ahead and sub yourself for daily content, and let me help you diversify your collection. Till next time, peace out, peeps.